Welcome back to the channel and today Yuzi and I are going to be building drones capable of delivering this explosive package and dropping it off on the back of these uh, boats while they are moving on autopilot. And uh, whoever can do it without exploding their boat first is going to win that round. You ready to build these explosive delivery cargo drones, Yuzi? <laughs> yes, I sure am. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we got to build a drone capable of carrying this and transporting it over the ocean and then delivering it very gently uh, onto the boat because here, I'll do a little bit of a test just to show you how sensitive the drone is. Is the helicopter from the EMP versus helicopter blades challenge. So now if I go to drop this down, you can see that that was too fast. It is possible to do it soft enough, but uh, here, let me try. Uh, okay. And there you go. See now that, oh, I pressed the button to blow up the dynamite. I probably should have unprogrammed the dynamite. All of the dynamite is automatic. Oh, well, I guess this is not attached to a seat right now. It's not programmed, but I got to remember to do that. But you can see the difference between gentle enough and not gentle enough. There's a very fine line and uh, we've got to not try to blow up the ships because then you're automatically going to lose that round. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll start with the dynamite and I'm thinking th like this is a forward direction because it's thinner in this direction. It's probably going to be a little bit easier. So I'm going to go with a quadcopter style. And gyros are gonna make this not too bad, I think. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna want this completely stabilized so we're not gonna use tilting. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do it. Instead of doing tilting, we're just gonna use thrusters as it stays stabilized. We're just gonna use thrusters to make it go forward and back. I think the bigger challenge other than controlling is going to be the altitude you want the altitude to be really, really controllable. And that's going to be not as easy because there's no like auto stabilizers for altitude. You have to actually build that yourself. But uh, let's focus on we need some auto stabilization and then auto stabilizers all around this. We did this before the auto stabilizers. This would be a much more complicated and time consuming challenge. I mean, the altitude adjustment still might be kind of complicated and time consuming. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to put the actual the gyro controls in as well. So we need pitch, we need roll. We should have, we should definitely have yaw as well. So I guess this can be my yaw. I guess my roll or my pitch could go in here. I feel like pitch is going to be, I mean, they're both crucial to be honest. All right, and then roll, I guess we will stack. Uh, we only need really one. So A and D with those arrows, just like that. And then we need yaw. So Q and E. All right, there's all of our controls all set. All right, so now let's go for propulsion. I kind of want it to look like a quadcopter because I think that'd be kind of cool. And that's looking okay. All right, let's do a quick test to see if these have enough power to lift us off. Okay, barely. And that's fine because I wanted these to not be my um, my altitude adjustment things. I want these to be on at all times and just to like kind of neutralize out my weight. And then I'm going to have other sources of up and down that are going to help control. Uh, so I'm going to start adding some speed sensors in here. So I'll replace that with a speed sensor that is going down. And what this is going to do is if we have any downwards force, it is going to trigger these. And then that should allow us to get off the ground. And then if I let go, you can see it kind of keeps me very, very stable. And then I'm going to have a separate thing that is going to give me down force to allow me to lower myself a little bit faster if I want to. But these are just going to like, look at this. This is great. All right. I need to uh, adjust my center of mass. It looks like I'm a little bit front heavy. Wait, am I not a little bit front heavy? Oh, it's not my mass. It's my center of thrust is actually a little bit more in the back. That's the problem. Okay, so I'm going to use... I hope this is going to be enough. Um, This is gonna, this may actually be kind of harder than I was expecting uh, to try to manage everything trying to counteract each other. Where's my thrust? Here we go. What I was thinking is just having like downwards thrust like this. I should I didn't leave myself a lot of space is the problem. All right, so this helps me go up. 
I can barely... I can't even go up right now. I need additional upwards. All right, I'm gonna insert some gyro or gimbal jets. Now these should help me go up. If I press those. Why am I all of a sudden like, okay, there we go. That's good. All right, I go, I go too far down now. Oh boy. I mean, kind of like by default I'm going down. I'm just like, I've added enough weight that now those core propellers aren't enough. So I might need to have some more. And then if I want to go down more, press control. Oh my goodness. <laughs> why do we, why was that so extreme? Did these have control? <gasps> these have left control for down. That's why I didn't even, ex I didn't know that those are programmed like that. Now let's try this again. Come on, lift off, good. I need forward thrust. Oh my god, my seat controls do the thing. I wasn't intending to have that. Oh wait, I put that in there. I put the gyros in there. I said I wasn't gonna do that, but now I've already have it. So maybe I do do that. All right, and then just like that. And then I would press number one to detach. And then we can lift off like no problem. Oh, look at this thing. Okay, y'all like that. And then this is like my strafing. It's very, very subtle. It would be better and more, um, I'd have more agility if I used thrusters for this instead of the leaning, but maybe this is enough. Maybe I don't want that stuff though. I mean, it looks more, it's more immersive, like it looks better, but it's going to be tilting the package. You know what I mean? All right. I do need more upwards thrust to overcome this weight. All right. That's looking a little bit better. I need more. I, I need even more though. See, now I need to hook that speed sensor. I need to hook it up into the gimbals. All right. Now I do stay level. If I press control, now I don't have enough to go down, but that's because I should have control. Dang, I don't know how to do this. Because space to go up, control should override not everything, just the gimbals. Unless I add reverse gimbals for down. Or let's see what happens if I add these to control. Right, we go up, no problem. We level off. And then... Okay, that's not bad, actually. Okay, yeah, that actually... Oh, it works. I just got to really not press it for too long because then it takes way too long to recover. But yeah, so we're going forward and we're going to get ready to land on it. We go down. We're going to have to like maintain speed with it too. There we go. Drop off the package and then we are off. All right, I'm kind of liking where we're at with that now. Okay, so now to help me out with forward, uh, I'm going to add some space thrusters to the back of this thing. This is going to help me go forward. I'm also going to try to work in like strafing and stuff. So this is going to be W and then let's see. See, I don't have a lot of room right now. All right, we're very limited with some attachment points here. <laughs> I can't attach this right now. I think I might just use like if this was a battle thing, this would be totally stupid. But because we're not really worrying about taking damage and losing parts, if I do that, I can totally attach these. All right, so now this is going to move me to the left, strafing. These three are going to move me to the right, strafing. These ones are going to be my backwards or brakes. And now I think we've got most of the controls that we need. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized that, oh, my strafing should be not Q and E. Yaw is Q and E. Yeah, that all seems to work. Going forward seems to, okay. Oh, no, I'm heavy now. I need a little bit more upwards thrust. Here, what I think I might do then is double up these. So now I can just copy and paste them like that. And then I just think I need to reverse the controls on these ones. So left control and space. Did the logic get copied, though, with the speed sensor? It did. Okay, let's see if it works. Hmm, it's not working. Oh, that's because the, these these need a separate speed sensor. They need a speed sensor that outputs negative. I don't know, this might be doable the way I have it right now, actually. I just have those additional propellers as uh, help with upwards thrust. So that might actually be good enough, because then I can just use them to help counteract the downwards force. All right. You know, I think I'm good enough. Yuzi's done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm wrapping up now too. So let's paint this thing up and then see what Yuzi came up with. All right, Scrap Man, have you finished your drone? I have. You want to see it? Yeah, let's see it. Um, oh, this whoa. is. Oh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it spawned on top of me. There we go. Well, now, you, well, there the smoke you go. Nice. covering it up. 
perfect. So I do have some automation on this thing, uh, as you can as you can see. So I'll go ahead and right. get up in the air here, and then you can see that I will hover nice and nice and controlled when I'm not pressing anything. Um, I can go ahead and go forward. I can go backwards. I can strafe left and right, and of course I can yaw if I need to. Um, and then I can go down nice and gently. Hopefully, drop off the thing, and then we're good. Wow, that's, that's a lot it. of maneuverability in a little drone like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, wow, I did the best I impressed. could. Yeah, I wasn't too sure okay. about the tilting. I actually didn't mean to put it in, and I just kind of went on autopilot and put the tilting in, and I'm like, it looks more immersive, but it's probably going to hurt me <laughs> rather than just going nice and straight. But uh, we'll see what <laughs> happens when we get to the boat. All right, well, let me show you mine. So here it is. Ooh, yours is also nice and small. Oh, you got yeah, what nice six six compact. blades? That's cool. Yeah, we're for a six prop drone. <laughs> wow. So mine has that hovering feature just like yours, which is pretty simple to do, just a yep. speed sensor. Pointing down. I can rotate, turn. I go about the same speed or just above the speed as of the boats, which is around 30 miles per hour, which is nice. But my drone, my drone just doesn't have like the leaning or like the, basically the pitch controls. Yeah. So it stays nice and flat. Yeah. And to go down, I just do this. Oh, nice. There we go. Simple. We both built some pretty, uh, pretty functional drones. It's pretty easy to build a nice functional drone now, isn't it? It is now. Yeah. All there right. Go, so uh, we're going to send the boats off at the same time. And we're just going to whoever can drop off their package safely first. We'll get a point. Okay. Let's get the boats ready. All right. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and good luck. All right, we are off. Oh, oh, you're very quick. Oh, yeah, that might give me some advantage. I can get there faster. <laughs> oh, true. Oh, I am very quick. I'm going 100 miles per hour right now. But the question is, can you deliver oh, it safely? Yeah, I, I forgot. I'm the red boat, aren't I? <laughs> All right. Oh, boy, I, don't, I almost went in the water there for a second. I got a little bit of catching up to do, but I'm making ground. Or should I say right. sea? Oh, this is looking good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Did you do it? That felt Did great. Did you do it? That what? was so satisfying. Oh, my. Already? <laughs> All right. How about this? Can you do it? Can you can you still do uh, it, though? We'll see. You might need to add more, some more forward thrust for the next round. I probably do. <laughs> Look how much slower my boat goes now that it has the package. <laughs> oh, he's All lining right. up. He's oh. looking good. Nice and slow. Nice and controlled. Wow, look at that. Hey. So smooth. This is like, okay. this is um kind of too easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to add some kind of element to make this a little bit yeah. more difficult, I think. We need to give the boats like some randomized like turning or something. True. Oop. All right. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah. See, the thing with my leaning is my forward thrust points me downwards when I lean forward. So I have to like counteract that whenever I give forward thrust. So how can we uh, make this a little bit more difficult? Can we make the boats turn? I feel like we could have them turning. Yeah. Is there a way to have it like oscillate like back and forth? It takes a little bit of logic, but it's doable. All right, guys. So we have upgraded the boats. So now that they, uh, when they spawn after 10 seconds or so, they will start turning by themselves, like a little serpentine motion. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult to deliver the packages. There we go. See? They're turning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scrap Man, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm sending the boats. All right. All right, count us in. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, we are off. And off we go. Ooh. That extra thruster is giving me a lot more speed, but... You're still faster than me. I think it's because you can lean. <laughs> yeah, I think the you leaning can lean helps. All, the props. all right. This is going to be interesting. Oh, oh no, 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 They're no, no. really turning. Go up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> Almost went into the water there. Okay. I think there's like a little window where it's going pretty straight. Uh huh. Oh, I, do you know what? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't explode there. I'm just going to get it done. Just get the job done. All right, just turning to the oh, left. Oh, stay still. Oh, my. This is quite oh, difficult. Oh, no. I keep getting, like, off the edge. Uh, I did it. I did oh, it. Yes. Oh, no. It was, like, a <laughs> half a second before I released mine, too. Uh, I was nice. like, I just got to release it and hope for the best. Wow. That was so close. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case. 
<laughs> All right, one point for me, one point for you. That was definitely a lot harder. All right, should we increase the gyro? We should. <laughs> All right. Let's see how hectic we can make this. Okay, whenever you're ready, give us a uh, countdown, Scrap. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh look how okay. sharp they're turning now. Oh, my. All right, I went too high. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, I may have made a mistake. <laughs> They're turning loads. Oh no. <laughs> I got to reset. Scrap man. <laughs> it's so hard for Let's me. Like, it's so hard this. for me to counter the weight. Oh my. They're really turning. All right. If I can recover from okay, this, okay. this will be the ultimate recovery. Oh It my. looks like okay. you're getting I need close, to figure though. Figure out this timing. Come on. Yes. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, I, I messed up so bad by window. going too high. All right. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> that was epic. Wow. All right, two points for you. Um, anything changing this round? You want to increase it to like 4.3? Want to increase it to 4.3? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You got two points. I got one. I got to just not drown myself this time. All right, three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, man. Oh, oh look how much they're turning. They're, they're like 90, 90 degrees. Degree turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna. Oh wait, they don't even go left that much. That's interesting. Oh well, it looks like they're heading more towards the mountain. Uh -oh. Come on. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, I'm just dropping it off. No, no, oh, there oh, it is. It's what? on. It's wow. on. It's not perfect, but it's enough. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay. All right. No, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It turned. I thought it was gonna tip off. In which case, I would have been oh, like. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble. Oh boy, it's close, but I think I'm safe. Oh, I do not want to hit the sea. If I hit the sea, I'm definitely. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> come on. Oh man, it's so tight with the turning. Oh my. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, you had it there oh, no. if you dropped it. I, I felt like that was gonna fall. This is so on, funny to watch. This is so difficult. <laughs> I want this dang boat stay still. Oh, oh, oh no! I did. Oh no! Misclick. How's my? Oh, did mine lose the pack? It's hard to tell. They disappear from a distance. Oh, By the I speed, I think it's still. I think they're still good. Okay. Uh, Let yeah, it's still there. You have your package still on. I do. You have to get really? close before it shows up. <laughs> <laughs> this, it just pops in this giant box yep. of dynamite. <laughs> Okay, good job. It is All now right. tied up. It I is believe. tied up. You want to play the first of three or first of five? That's a good. Uh, well, how much can we upgrade these boats? <laughs> That's I know. The well, I mean, it's it's getting hard already. I think maybe we go to like four point five now. <laughs> okay. Because it seems to have like an exponential increase in the effect. All right. Four point five. <laughs> Shall we say whoever does this one wins? All first right, let's three? do it. I don't, yeah, I don't know how much harder we can get than 4.5 <laughs> yeah. without them just going in circles. I'm just going to turn around really quick. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Good luck. All right. Here we go. Oh, I got to not go too high. I don't want to make that mistake again. Oh, my. The speed oh my goodness. is incredible. All right. Here we go. All right. This is it. This is the approach. The approach gotta is key. Anticipate. Come on. When you're going to turn. Uh. Oh. Oh no! That would have overshot. Oh no! Oh, oh it's difficult. It All is right. really when difficult. When it's turning right, when it turns right. right, when it turns right. No! Oh! 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 I think it, he just dropped it with enough force that it broke through the ship, but didn't Really? Explode. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I have my drop button to number one, and I uh, I missed the one, and I hit tab. <laughs> Misclick. Oh, well. Well, good job, man. Wait, is your package... How is it? I didn't even see what your drop-off yeah, looked like. it's still there. God, it's making the ship wobbly. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a nice drop-off. Well done. All about yeah, this timing. Was, this was a really fun challenge. Nice change of pace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think we should do a bonus round. This time, okay. whoever blows up their ship first gets a bonus point. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a challenge. I love that. But you have to survive it. You have to survive the explosion, too. <laughs> oh, okay. So no just flying into your ship. You actually got to, like, drop it. 
Yeah, the, the blast radius, you might as well get yourself anyway. <laughs> Bonus round, three, two, one, here we go. All right. Come on, drone, faster. Oh, you're so quick. <laughs> All right, I gotta not miss. Yeah, okay, I I'm taking my shot. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, maybe go. I am. I'm go. dropping, I'm dropping. No! Oh, oh what a oh, shot, got both dude. of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a huge blast oh, wow. radius. Wow. That was nice. fun. Nice. All right, at least I get the great. bonus. <laughs> I got the uh, bonus participation trophy. You, you do indeed. <laughs> All right, people should definitely leave some more comments on some fun challenges you'd like to see. This one just kind of came out of nowhere, uh, and uh, it was really fun. It was different than what we're normally doing. So if you have any other ideas that might be uh, kind of unique and fun like this, then let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Yuzi's channel for some more awesome Trailmakers content. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.